Perry Roberts here and I'm going to show you how to use a tool called Garble to compile code written in Go to bypass Windows Defender. And for this we have a live example of an executable that gets flagged by Windows Defender by default and then we will recompile it with the Garble tool and see that it bypasses Windows Defender. And for this demo we're going to be using Prelude Operator. It's a free application for attack emulation. It is a command and control style tool like Cobalt Strike or PowerShell Empire where you have a server that you can send commands out to various agents that are deployed on your network and execute commands or attack emulations. Here we have one agent already connected to our server. This is something that's just built into the Prelude server where you get a local agent. But in this, we're gonna try and connect our own agent. Like for example, if we took our agent executable to another machine and launched it, we would want that to be able to connect back and not get caught by antivirus. So <clears throat> here in the app data directory, we have the installation location of NUMA where they give us the NUMA Windows EXE. So this is the agent executable that we want to run to make a connection to our server. I have this folder where the NUMA Windows EXE is located on a allow list for Windows Defender. So it's not catching it right now. But if we take this, take a copy of this and put it on the desktop, we'll see that Defender doesn't like it. I had to kind of push it to scan that. Normally I just snatch it up when I copy it there, but here we have Trojan script, it says. If we see the details, we see it's on the desktop NUMA Windows. So the default NUMA Windows executable that comes with the installation of Prelude Operator gets flagged by Windows Defender. And if we try to run this, it says you can't do it because it's in quarantine right now and it'll eventually disappear. Now is when we go look at what we can do to change that executable to bypass Windows Defender. So here we have this garble tool that we can thank this author for. And down here in the readme it says this produces a binary that does the same thing as the normal code did, but it has very little of the same information of the strings that you see in that executable that the antivirus is flagging on for that static detection. So we want to use this tool. So we need to have go installed so we can use go install. So to do that, we can just search for install go and this first link will do it for us. And we would just download go. We'd run that installer, accept all the defaults and go. I've already done that just to save time. So you would need to install that. And once you install that, we can check that we've got Go, Go version 118, looks good. And then here in the README it says install Garble with Go install Garble here. So we do that. And then we also need the source code for the NUMA agent, which is open source. So we can say NUMA GitHub, go here download the code for NUMA, which is the executable NUMA Windows that we're gonna compile. Just download the zip, which I already did. I have in my downloads folder here, NUMA master, and then we go into payloads and we're gonna see what we compile show up here. So over here, we'll enter PowerShell with exec bypass so that we can run the PowerShell script that Prelude provides for us. So we've got garblebuild.ps1. Take a quick look at that. And it's just setting some environment variables and calling the garble build. So we run that garble build script. And we pass it a random hash, just a little bit something to obfuscate this for us, or so it builds different every time. I'll just put in three letters here, and it could be anything. You see NUMA Windows here. Let's copy this out onto the desktop. See if Defender catches it.
And make sure and do a scan on it. And we still only have that original NUMA Windows that was getting caught. We can go back to our settings and show that our threat protections are up to date. Last updated today, 728. So it looks good. Let's go to Prelude and see if when we run this new NUMA Windows agent, if it connects to our server. Yes, so we confirm that Windows Defender didn't complain that it was sitting here on disk and then it successfully connects to our server where we can issue commands. Just to show you a little how this works with Prelude Operator, we could find a TTP we want to run, like find local users and deploy find local users against this agent. And we click in here to see the results. And here's a listing of all the results of finding the local user. So we've executed commands against our agent with our command and control server in order to do our attack emulation. Our agent was able to run because we garbled the build and bypassed Windows Defender. If you want to learn more about Prelude Operator and other attack emulation tools, please join me in my anti-siphon training attack emulation tools course.